Oh my god! Like I don't care how many days. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Andrew, we have so many questions. I'm like sweating watching that. I don't think that I could, I don't think I could do it. Would you be able to do something like this? I mean, people do it in space, I guess. It's the same kind of thing. I don't, oh I, don't, my. I don't know. It's, yeah, each their own. Let's just say that. I but, mean, good for him. That's yeah. great. I, I, I don't think I yeah. can do it. Nope. But uh, it's all right. <laughs> Let's check out the forecast uh, here for tonight. Uh, looking at uh, temperatures on the mild side, uh, looking at lower 70s. Lisa's laughing over there. But uh, mostly clear skies uh, through the overnight hours here. But uh, you know, about 69 degrees is going to be that overnight uh, low for us here tonight. As for temperatures tomorrow, it's going to be toasty. Uh, looking about 90 degrees. Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, uh, Fort Myers, 90 in Arcadia. Uh, you get down towards Collier County, upper 80s. But hey, look at inland, 97 in Amathe. It's going to be a warm one there, uh, though we are watching a front moving through today. And what that's going to do is really uh, keep that humidity down for us tomorrow. Look about 36 percent, which is close enough uh, to that critical threshold that we watch for fire danger. It's been a few days uh, since we had that uh, decent rain that we had just a week or so ago. But uh, uh Things are starting to dry out again, so we're keeping an eye on things, especially in the afternoon hours. We get the wind picking up with the sea breeze. That said, all of southwest Florida, except for Charlotte County, is in moderate fire danger tomorrow. So just use a little bit extra caution uh, through the day. As for the day itself, let's time it out for you here. 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, looking at mostly sunny skies out there for you tomorrow. That continues uh, into the uh, the afternoon hours. Should be a relatively dry day until you get into the evening. And that's when I do expect uh, some shower storm chances start to bubble up there, up along the sea breeze. You see that 5 o'clock, very similar to today, looking inland mainly Glades, uh, Henry County, maybe into Collier County, inland Collier County, uh, seeing those shower chances there through the uh, the evening hours into the over uh, night time. I was looking about tapering out maybe about midnight uh, with any shower and storm chances. So what are we looking at in terms of rainfall inland? Well, uh, some of us could pick up uh, nearly an inch under those heavier downpours. Uh, LaBelle, Moorhaven, Caluison, probably the biggest threat for that, but they've had a lot of rain lately up along uh, Lake O there. Uh, we saw the big storm out there just tonight. Uh, as for rain chances the rest of the week, though, better as we get in towards uh, your Monday up to 60 percent there. We're going to keep it elevated on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Backs off a little bit uh, on Thursday down to 30 percent, but still some shower and storm chances in the forecast. And we need it. Uh, anything uh, from two to five and a half inches still below normal uh, since the start of January. And that's including uh, the we've had the rain we've had so far this month. It's been a pretty wet month, as we know, uh, Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, especially uh, getting a decent shot of rain. So a uh, seven day forecast as a whole. Again, isolated showers and storms inland for you tomorrow. Hot temperatures. Looks going to be a big story. Uh, 90 degrees tomorrow. Then back into the uh, mid 80s. This is actually about where it's supposed to be uh, this time of year. And warms back up into the upper 80s there Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, rain chances back up about 50% as you're rolling towards your Friday there with scattered showers and thunderstorms. But even next weekend, keeping that rain in the forecast. More typical this week of a uh, rainy season type pattern, at least. Thank you, Andrew.